Now that you've given thanks for the things you already have, it's time to go back to the store and buy some more pointless shit you don't need. At least try not to die, okay? 10. Sometimes it seems like these stores are practically begging for customers to get injured, such as the three-story Del Amo shopping mall that filled 500 balloons with gift certificates and had them rain down from the ceiling. What do you honestly think is going to happen when you have 2,000 people leaping on top of each other to get what in is all likelihood a $5 coupon? As you'd expect, one old woman ended up in the hospital. Classy. 9. An off-duty cop was arrested for disorderly conduct in 2011 when he went to Walmart on Black Friday and pepper sprayed shoppers in the face. It would have been a lot smarter if he had done this while on duty and in his uniform, claiming he was breaking up a fight, then grab all those sweet, sweet bargains for himself. 8. Using pepper spray in a much more clever way, a seemingly never identified woman attacked a line of people holding Wii and Xbox 360 consoles by spraying at them in a hopeful attempt to get an Xbox. Just Xbox. This thing has no games. 7. A former marine was collecting toys for charity at Best Buy when a man cut him across the back with a knife. The perpetrator got angry when he was asked to return a laptop he was in the process of stealing and began waving a knife around while running out of the store. Some people must not understand that so cheap they're practically giving them away is a figure of speech. 6. An 11 year old girl was once trampled at a Walmart by a group of idiots ravenously trying to save $6 on a toaster. Thankfully the police were already there 5 minutes after the 911 call was placed and the girl was sent to the hospital with non-life threatening injuries. Let's take a moment to praise the crowd for their restraint, am I right? 5. 61 year old Walter Vance had a heart condition and must have been in search of a 2 for 1 sale on defibrillators because he shouldn't have had any business being in such a crowded target. Walter fell to the floor and wasn't the only heartless one as many customers stepped over him and provided no help, eventually leading to his death. 4. A few Black Friday shoppers in a Walmart parking lot were confronted by thieves who wanted a 100% discount, even though the deals are pretty damn good anyways. One of the gunmen was arrested, the other one ran away, and somebody was taken to the hospital in critical condition. I know what you're thinking. Did his new TV get home okay? I will be in search of an update. 3. 18 year old Javier Cavarubias went out on Black Friday in 2013 and stabbed a man in the stomach near the mall entrance, being arrested soon afterwards. There doesn't seem to be any attempt at theft or robbery, he just felt like stabbing stomachs. 2. Yet another incident at Walmart. While plenty of violence was going on in the store, two people were also shot outside when fighting over a parking space. Why didn't they just roll back away from the parking lot and look for another space? Before I get to number one, I just want to say hit that like button if you're enjoying the video so far and subscribe to my channel for more content, thank you. It's just that if I don't bring it up, nobody does it. One. A California Toys R Us turned into a graveyard after two men shot each other dead inside the crowded store in front of Black Friday shoppers. Whatever they were fighting over must be the greatest Christmas gift in all of history. Click the annotations on the screen to check out some of the other videos I've done.